In this session, I'm going to be speaking with Alan Bantic, Research Director at On Device Research, and he's here to explore in a little bit more detail the importance of setting clear objectives and how you can ensure your KPIs are right. So Alan, can we start by examining the most common KPIs measured in a campaign? And we have a variety of KPIs across the campaigns that we that we measure. Um, typically, their main objective um, falls into the standard brand funnel. So either awareness, um, so making the brand more front of mind for people, or consideration, or purchase intent. So uh, generating demand for the product or, or service that the brand offers. Um, sometimes uh, there will be other objectives alongside that, um, for example, brands might want to change the way in which they're perceived, they might want to improve their brand image on things like trust, for example, um, they might want to be seen as a more quality brand, a more value for money brand, it really sort of depends on what their strategic objectives um, are, but often we'll see uh, that there are campaign objectives that run along those lines. Um, sometimes uh, we get objectives that aren't even related to the brand, less often, but uh, sometimes we see that. So it might be that uh, there is a social cause being promoted and the campaign is all about you know, driving awareness of that social cause or, or a charity that's involved in that. Um, but I think it, it's definitely fair to say that you know, whatever the campaign is, is trying to achieve, having that clear objective, a clear view in mind of what that campaign is trying to achieve, um, gives it more likelihood of, of being successful. So can you tell me why it's so important to determine these KPIs from the outset and how that helps improve campaign success? Yes, um, and I think there's probably three parts to, uh, to that. The first is a, a more strategic view. Um, each brand will have a, a clear idea of how they want to evolve and progress. Um, so you might may find a, a new entrant into a market just wants to get noticed. So they have a sort of brand awareness objective, whereas uh, a big established brand might want to drive sales. Uh, it might want to change the way that it's perceived in, in, in the market. So um, the, best, uh, the best advertising will have KPIs that align with those broader strategic objectives. So that's probably the first point. Um, the second point uh, is more around the campaign production. And there are a series of decisions that go into making any campaign, whether it's uh, the creative that's being used, uh, the narrative that's being told, uh, the audience that they're trying to hit, the messages that are in the ad, even the times that that advertising is being, is being shown. Um, and uh, all of those decisions are far more likely to be made in a coherent way if everyone involved in those decisions has a, an end goal, you know, a clear objective in mind. So it helps, it helps just with the production of the campaign. Um, but also, and, and obviously this is the part that we're more interested in, um, from a research perspective, from a measurement perspective, um, in order for us to design a research study that's appropriate, has the right questions, in the survey environment, um, has the right audiences um, in the survey, has any additional information that we need around web visits or uh, viewability or you know whatever it might be. In order for us to make sure we've got all of those elements at the outset, we need to know what the campaign uh, is trying to achieve. Um, and it also helps us at the very final stage when we're reporting these results back, when we're telling clients how a campaign has worked. Um, if we know what that what that campaign is trying to achieve, we can be far more concise in what we're saying, we can give far more actionable advice at the end of it. So um, yeah, having those KPIs from the outset helps in a, you know, in, a, in a number of ways. Okay, so clearly I can see the benefits in setting those KPIs early doors. So perhaps now on the flip side, we can examine the dangers of, of not doing so. Yes, and, and I guess it's, it's linked, it's linked that as you say, it's the flip side of that. Um, the risk is that you have uh, advertising that's not serving the brand in the most appropriate way. So it's not aligned with what the, what the brand is, is, is trying to achieve. Um, you risk a situation where you've got maybe conflicting decisions being made in the production process. The campaign won't feel as coherent 
um, as it otherwise would. And then the risk from a measurement and research side is that you know, we're not able to set the study up in a way that delivers the most appropriate results um, at the end of it. We're not able to give uh, clients the full picture or, or, or the advice that we'd, you know, we, we would like to. So that's probably the, probably the main risks. Okay, so in summary then, how does setting the KPIs from the outset help improve brand measurement research? It's quite simple really, and kind of at risk of repeating myself a, a little bit, um, but from a brand measurement, a research standpoint, knowing what the campaign is trying to achieve at the outset, so when we start to design our questionnaires, we know what questions to put in there. Uh, if we know what audience uh, the campaign is focused on, we know who we need to interview. If we know that the campaign is designed to change a brand's image in a certain way, we know that we need to have those image statements uh, in the questionnaire. So it's quite fundamental really in terms of how we set a research study up in the, in the first instance, um, because often we can't go back and, and redo that. Uh, but it also helps at the back end. So when we're, when we're analysing the, the results that we get back from that survey, when we're pulling that all together, putting it into a report, giving advice to our clients, we can be far more pointed, we can be far more concise in what we're, in what we're saying, um, and we're much more able to give guidance on how to improve similar campaigns in the future. So it helps us really from, from start to finish. Thank you, Alan. We hope you found this short video today useful, but if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at ondevicesearch.com.